This is Access Door County, and I am your host, Victoria Sarnich. Today's guest is Sam Perlman, the Economic Development Manager at the Door County Economic Development Corporation. Sam is here today to tell us about Buy Local in Door County. Welcome, Sam. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. What are you going to tell us about Buy Local in Door County? When did it start? Well, it's uh, about a uh, three-year-old uh, venture for us now. Um, it's really just a grassroots economic development opportunity for the county as a whole. What we're wanting to do is we want to get more people to buy more locally, um, understand that a lot of the things that they want or need are available locally where they might think that they have to go to Green Bay or beyond to get them, um, how important that is and how much that can impact uh, the local economy. What ways have you tried to educate the local businesses uh, that perhaps what they need is right here? Um, probably the, bis the biggest way that we've been doing that is uh, hosting uh, regular mixers, um, networking opportunities, opportunities for local business owners to uh, get out and about in the community, uh, meet with other local businesses, tour other local businesses, see the products and services that they have available, uh, and share with other uh, local business owners what they themselves have available. So uh, we host monthly mixers. Um, it's the first Wednesday of every month, um, 5.30 to 7 p.m. Uh, there's an opportunity to mix and mingle, uh, have something to eat, have, some, uh, have something to drink, um, tour whatever facility that we're going to be uh, in that particular month. Uh, and then we have a short program, um, usually something of interest related to the business that we're in, but not always. Really just, again, wanting people to get out in the community, get to know each other, get to know their neighbors, and get to know that there are products and services that are available right here without having to leave the county. What are some of the other benefits, though? The, the, you don't have to leave the county to find what you need, right. but isn't there another benefit to buying local? Um, I mean, there's a lot of benefits. Really, the, from our perspective, because this is an economic development entity and we are an economic development engine for the county, um, you know, even a slight increase in the amount of local spending has a direct impact on our economy. Um, if everybody spent just even 1% or 2% additional of their uh, of their spending if they spent that locally rather than taking it outside of the county it would create dozens of new jobs within uh, just within Door County within our area with our people hiring Absolutely. the people who live here like your neighbors in Bailey's Harbor or my neighbors in Sevastopol now part of making buy local happen was branding I think and you went mm -hmm. through a process to come up with a logo and perhaps I, you've talked about the mixers tell us a little bit about that branding process and and perhaps you have a website you could tell us about we sure do um, we went through the uh, a, a branding exercise um, used uh, the services of Betcher Communications uh, we did come up with uh, and Betcher is a local business absolutely came up with the uh, the Door County buy local um, logo. Um, we also uh, created a window cling for all of our participating businesses and on the back, it, if you can't read it, it says, thank you for shopping locally. Uh, we were able to use the very well-known Door County Waves uh, logo from the Door County Visitor Bureau and that just creates, uh, you know, re reinforcement of the Door County brand. Um, we do have a, uh, a website, uh, www.doorcountybylocal.com uh, and in addition to information about the Door County by local movement itself, what that has is a searchable directory of local businesses. So any participating uh, local business can join the by local web on the by local website, uh, enter information about what their business uh, offers, the services or products that they offer, and then anyone can go on that website and do a search for washing machines or local food products or whatever it is and that uh, inf the vendors for those particular services will pop up there. Well that's terrific or can you search by name for the business Absolutely. or just scroll through the names and see if you recognize the business because you weren't sure which, lo which local business you were looking for. You bet. Or... All of those things So are there. all of that listing and I see you've got a, a Door County Local Producers Guide and mm -hmm. what is that? Um, one of the uh, points of emphasis of the uh, Door, County, Door County by Local pro, prog program is, the, um, is local agriculture. 
and local foods. Uh, and I know that's something that that's near and dear to your heart as mm -hmm. well. Um, with the uh, UW Extension, they have created annually for the last several years a Door County Local Producers Guide. Um, and it is just a guide to both the farmers as well as the restaurants uh, that are using, that are either growing or using local food. I think some of the producers too, like uh, Renard's Cheese, perhaps, absolutely, yeah, or all Cherry the, Delight. Yep, all of the the value added producers, as well as local farm markets, local farmers, uh, anybody who's producing a food product. Um, that is available to the public. And how do people access that? Uh, that is available uh, as an online product. Um, if you go to either the Door County by Local site or if you go to the UW Extension site um, through the County of Door. Well, that's terrific. And you have a PowerPoint. Is this a road show that you can take to, do, whether it's a business or maybe a community group to talk about by local? Absolutely. We're happy to do that at any time. Uh, give uh, us a call at Door County Economic Development, 743-3113. Either Bill Shudwar, our executive direct director, or myself would be happy to come and talk to any local group that would like to learn more about DCEDC and especially the Door County by Local program. So if... Someone would want to sponsor one of these mixers. What would they do? To uh, maybe host one and have learn more about the bi local movement themselves. Uh, again, you can get a hold of us, um, and we'd be happy to walk you through it. It's a very simple process. Maybe go over that again, maybe just a little by the numbers. What happens? At, maybe a little time frame of what happens in an evening at a sure. bi local, and what's the commitment for a host? Uh, the commitment is uh, not all that uh, large. Usually there's a, another sponsor who's involved, so we're looking for space, we're looking for uh, some hors d'oeuvres to be provided. Uh, usually we'll get some uh, one of our local producers to uh, pr uh, provide uh, beverages. So uh, again, it's a 5.30 to 7.30 or 5.30 to 7 p.m. time frame for the mixers. Um, usually about a half an hour for just mixing getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have some announcements, uh, talk about what's been going on with the bi-local movement uh, relatively recently. Then we'll have our program and then uh, wrap up with uh, an, an opportunity for everybody to introduce themselves, uh, mm -hmm. talk about their business, and then more networking uh, until the evening is, uh, is done. Mm -hmm. um, and we like to move these things around the county. We've had we have them in Surgeon Bay. We've had them in Northern Door. Um, we really want to make sure that we uh, keep these things out and about throughout the community. And I was going to ask you about some of the past ones and perhaps some of the programs. Uh, did any particular one come to mind? Or um, Probably, you know, the most There's successful was uh, when we had that uh, mixer at Wasita Farms oh. and talking about local foods, and that was a really nice event. Okay. Um, we've had them at Orchard Country Winery. Mm -hmm. um, now, at Orchard Country, didn't they talk about the wine, the, the uh, growth of the wine and grape industry up here? Which which yep. a lot of people possibly are unaware of. Yeah, we have uh, eight wineries in Door County. Uh, they've all come together uh, and are working together uh, on a joint marketing effort called the Door County Wine Trail. Um, and they've produced a, a map and uh, working together to grow that entire industry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people come to Door County, they don't go to just one winery, they go to many of them. Right. Uh, I've been in areas in California where there will be 30 or 40 different wineries on a local wine trail. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity. They're, they are not in competition with one another, they are really um, working collectively. They, then they reinforce the, the value of Door County as a place to go for wine. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, I think the UW Extension has working towards some uh, serious uh, uh, examination of the nature of growing grapes. We have the Agricultural Research Station here, mm -hmm. which is also a local business and a, a business that supports local business. Absolutely. And they're headed, uh, they're really looking at those grape producers to see how well they're doing in Door, Door County and what are the uh, opportunities for a perhaps a vertical um, integration of that business here. I mean, you can you can grow grapes, you can bottle wine, you mm -hmm. can make wine, you can bottle wine. Is that something that uh, by the Economic Development Corp has been looking at as well? Absolutely. We've been very supportive of the uh, continued state resources to uh, keep the uh, Peninsular Ag Research Station uh, afloat. Um, and, you know, 
when we see uh, a business like that, uh, it really comes to the intersection of the three pillars of our economy. Um, those pillars being agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism. And when you have businesses like the wineries, like the farm markets, where they are literally, that is the intersecting point of those three um, industry sectors, mm -hmm. where they are growing local foods, local raw materials, they are manufacturing created value added products, and then selling and marketing those products predominantly to the tourist economy uh, within Door County. Yeah, and looking at the tourist economy, I just read that the Hatco Corporation was expanding and they produce a lot of uh, quality stainless steel and glass items for the beverage and restaurant mm -hmm. industry, I believe. That's correct. Which, of course, is very uh, concentrated, very serious business up here in Door County. Absolutely. But Buy Local is not for business only now. Correct. I understand that there has been some uh, serious uh, rethinking and re-examining of the best way to, uh, to promote buy local within the steering committee mm -hmm. and what are they uh, what is the outcome of that well as you said for the last three years the first three years of the buy local movement we've really been focused on the business to business community wanting to encourage local businesses to do more business with local businesses as well as um, local governments um, really the next step is to bring that to a business to consumer model. Um, next is trying to figure out exactly how we do that, um, what types of uh, initiatives we would take to expand and grow the, uh, that, the initiative from just be business to business to business to consumer. So we're in the process of uh, doing a little survey. It's a very brief survey. Um, if you go to doorcountybylocal.com, you'll find a link to that survey. Um, just about uh, six or eight questions and just giving us some insight into um, what businesses would want to see in terms of a business to consumer outreach mm -hmm. through the Buy Local program. So if you're already a member of Buy Local, you go to the website and you can fill that out. Mm -hmm. uh, but even if you're not, you could still provide input that might, would be valuable to see how the Buy Local uh, volunteer group could better get the word out about Buy Local. Absolutely. And I also see you have a really attractive rack card here, mm -hmm. and this has got a story on it. What's that story? Well, it just talks about the benefits of the economic benefits of buying local, um, how it works with uh, someone buying some local food um, from a local farmer, how that farmer then turns those dollars around within the, within the community, buying from a local supplier, and really what we call the, uh, the return rate uh, on an investment within the community. Oh, okay. And these are, I've seen these at the library. I imagine some of the businesses, these photos were contributed by different businesses. I, uh, We've got Greens and Grains, The Cookery, Steep Creek Farm, Sweetie Pies, Pine Valley Farm, that's right here in Sevastopol, mm -hmm. and Orchard Country, of course. And you can find out more about these, uh, these businesses. They're also members of Buy Local by going to the website, doorcountybylocal.com. But if people don't remember doorcountybylocal.com, can they go to the main Door County Economic Development Corporation? You bet. Um, and what's and that? DoorCountyBusiness.com. DoorCountyBusiness.com, and there'll be a link into Buy Local. Correct. Sam, I see you brought in a storyboard or tabletop display today to discuss Buy Local. Is this something you bring with when you make your presentations? or? Absolutely. Um, just giving some information about the Door County uh, Buy Local program, uh, about Door County Economic Development. Um, when we did a booth at this year's uh, Door County Fair, we were able to have this up and just, again, wanting to communicate some information about uh, Door County by Local to the public. Um, a lot of the information is also the same kinds of things that you'll find on our website, um, doorcountybylocal.com, talking about the positive impacts of buying locally, um, talking about our schedule of uh, upcoming uh, buy local mixers and other events, um, a link to the Door County Local Producers Guide, all of those things. We'll be on that, we'll be on that board. Well, mm -hmm. that's, that's terrific. And I understand that you had a mixer at U.S. Cellular on November 6th. We did. Um, we got uh, restarted in our monthly mixers. Uh, we typically take the summers off. 
um, but we restarted uh, first Wednesday of November, and then we'll continue going on uh, through the uh, beginning of June. Uh, again, wanting to respect people's busy schedules during the uh, summer season, but uh, our next uh, mixer is going to be Wednesday, December 4th, and it's going to be at um, the Door County Maritime Museum. And the uh, subject is going to be a holiday celebration. It's a, a festival of trees, and they're going to be sponsored by a variety of local businesses. So uh, from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Uh, at the Door County Maritime Museum. And then uh, for future events, uh, look to the Door County Buy Local website, and uh, you'll see a listing, a calendar of all of our upcoming uh, events and mixers. Okay. So people that want to attend, they don't have to already be members of Buy Local to no. attend the mixer. No, uh, we encourage any and all to come. Uh, it's just a $5 uh, donation to defray costs for the uh, appetizers and refreshments that are served. But we encourage anyone to come and learn a little bit more about Door County Buy Local, uh, meet with other local business owners, um, learn about the types of goods and services that are available right here in Door County without having to get, go out of the county. Sam, thank you very much for coming in today. I'm pleased that the Door County Economic Development Corporation could spare their manager to tell us about Buy Local. Oh, it was my pleasure to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. And you have been watching Access Door County with your host, Victoria Saranich. We have been talking to Sam Perlman about Buy Local. Access Door County is carried exclusively on Sevastopol TV, Channel 986. Next week's guest will be Sensei Faustini, she will tell us about the Living Hope Dojo. Thanks for watching. <laughs>